largish painting of Elizabeth Cummings of the landscape directly outside her house at Wedderburn, which is just Australian bush with a lot of sticks and stones and stuff. And uh, I think even without going in close to that painting, you can see how much scumbling and scraping and overpainting there is there. Uh, which can now be done quite comfortably with acrylic. So that's what I will show you later as we proceed with this process of showing you how various mediums will work. Um, there are other paintings of Elizabeth I want to show you as well. We can't get into a position where we can take this whole painting. Of course, not Elizabeth Cummings. This is Ewan MacLeod, but it's got all those knobbly, craggy bits that oil paintings can have, and which have been hard to do with acrylic because there's only been the modelling compound. You have to put that down and then paint thinly over the top of it. Doesn't really work in a in a in a sort of uh, cohesive way. So I just want to show you this while we're going past. This is the sort of thing, if you're interested in texture, that you can now aim towards with acrylics. This is another of Elizabeth's paintings, and as you can see, there's something happening all over the painting. The whole surface is activated with something or other. So in some cases, you would call it a glaze. In other cases, most cases, actually, you'd call it a scumble, where there's a coloured, not necessarily transparent, scraped back a bit so you can see the colour underneath. Um, so the paintings are always very eventful. There's never anything boring if you take a little section of one of Elizabeth Cummings' paintings. It's always got something happening in it. So. Uh, you will now be able to do this sort of technique quite easily with acrylic paint. And that's what I've got to sort of tie together for you in the demonstration where I'm just doing little swatches.